My experience with the GBA is very inconsistent. I never played it physically when it came out. In fact, I never really played anything GBA related until I was in my late teens. I got a hold of a lot of the games by completely legal means and checked out a lot of the library. Then when I started collecting, I was more interested in collecting the handhelds themselves over the games. These things came in a shitload of colors, which just appealed to my collection instinct. Then different versions were made, like the Micro GBA, but it all led to an amazing handheld, the SP, where after a billion years, Nintendo finally decided to grace us with a backlit screen. My Game Boy Advance collection is super small, but I do have some games that I loved on the system, so let's check out all my games and I'll share some thoughts on them. Alright, starting with Final Fantasy 1 and 2 Dawn of Souls, which is obviously just the name for the Game Boy Advance version. Uh, I'm not going to talk about Final Fantasy 1, I actually have never played the GBA version, but this was the first time I beat Final Fantasy 2, because I first played Final Fantasy 2 on the Origin collection on PS1, but this is the first time I actually played through and beat it. Uh, I guess this is a hot take nowadays, but I like Final Fantasy 2. Uh, I like what they tried with the system. I like how you can exploit the system, uh, even though it requires more than typical grinding. I like the game, and I thought the GBA version was really good. Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. This is probably one of the first GBA games I emulated, and I actually really like it. I've always liked the Final Fantasy Tactics battle system. This one, obviously, it does not have the serious tone as the PlayStation version, but this one was kind of fun, how you can go around and, like, build the world as you explore and unlock and progress. I liked it. I like the battle system. It's really fun. Golden Sun The Lost Age. So, I have not played this game because I don't have the first Golden Sun. And I also have never emulated either of these. Um, I don't even want to try playing them until I got both of them on the GBA. There will be another Golden Sun related thing later in this video, but I've always heard great things about this. If I remember, there's a day-night system. Graphically, it might be a little outdated, but I'm definitely excited to dive into like all of Golden Sun as soon as I have all of them. Shining Soul. So this was one of the first GBA games I also played along with Tactics Advance. And I started with the first one. Uh, it's a game by Atlas, so and it's part of the Shining series. And all I was really familiar with with the Shining series was just Shining Force. Never even played it. I just knew it exists on like the Genesis. But this it's like a Diablo clone. Uh, it has really nice kind of cute graphics. It plays really well. I love dungeon crawlers. So when I first played this game, that was great. I thought it was fantastic. You have different classes to pick and everything. I actually think. It's a really good game, but not as good as its sequel, or I guess the second in the series, Shining Soul 2. They definitely made a bunch of improvements, at least gameplay-wise, on here. The dungeon crawling is basically about the same, graphically it's the same, but you get like, the stats you can level up and everything you can do. The Shining Soul games are just so enjoyable for me. Sometimes there's parts where I would just enjoy grinding, like I'll just go through a dungeon over and over again to see like what items I would get and everything. It would never get boring to me, and the games aren't even like that long. Perfectly made for something on the go, because it is like a dungeon crawler that's shorter, so it makes sense that it's a handheld so you can actually beat it quicker instead of like spending like 40 hours on it or something. They're super fun games, I actually highly, highly recommend them. Super Mario Advance 4 or or Super Mario Brothers 3. And I remember I got this game because I used to work at a job where I got to bring in like a handheld console that didn't have a camera. So this is like the first time I actually played physical GBA titles. And uh, so I got to bring games into this job. And I remember this was one of the titles I'd sit there, I'd play and beat throughout like work days and stuff like that. I mean, Super Mario Brothers 3 is one of the greatest NES games. The GBA part of it is just as good. I think the only big difference is just the GBA has better Better graphics basically. Super Mario Bros. 3 is always always a fun time. Sword of Mana. So this is like the remake of Final Fantasy Adventure on the Game Boy, which is fucking fantastic game that I love. And I like the remake. I thought Sword of Mana was really fun. This is another game that I played at that job where I would just bring it in and I would have a super good and fun time and everything like that. Uh, the battle system is great with the action RPG. They definitely added some stuff, if I recall, with like the magic system and everything. So it's definitely got an upgrade. I still prefer the original on the Game Boy just because I could still play that game today and have so much fun. Plus it meant so much to me like growing up and playing it. But Sword of Mana is a fine game. 
Tales of Fantasia. So, okay, I am not a Tales fan. I've tried like five different Tales games. Tales of Fantasia, the, actually the first time I actually played this was uh, emulating it on the Super Nintendo with like a fan translation. The Tales of Fantasia is the only Tales game I could say I like. I, I like the way it looks with this, the 16-bit graphics. I like the way it played. I've never beat it though, because I did eventually just kind of get worn out, which happens with me in all Tales games. It's just not a series for me. But I, I would say I like Tales of Fantasia. Maybe one day I'll beat it. I highly, highly doubt it, <laughs> but maybe one day. <laughs> I just I have two GBA games. They're complete in box. Shout out to my friend Lance. He's the one who hooked me up with them. Uh, so we'll start with my favorite Castlevania of all time, Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. I love this game. It's absolutely fantastic. The music is amazing. I just got I just got the Switch version of the Advance Collection, and which is the Aria of Sorrow edition, and I got the vinyl with it as well. I, I think it's fantastic. Uh, the Soul System is just so amazing, and all the abilities you can get. It's just so fantastic. I love it so much. Castlevania Circle of the Moon. So this is the first Castlevania GBA release. It follows the Symphony of the Night style. I remember, like, I don't remember too much about the game itself. I do remember having fun playing it, and I do think you get a couple of abilities. I want to say you collect cards, and they kind of, like, make changes and stuff. That's about as much as I can really remember. I do remember having fun with it. Like I said before, it's a Symphony of the Night-like Castlevania. All the GBA Castlevanias are, are definitely worth checking out. Uh, Circle of the Moon's fun. Uh, obviously, it's not anything compared to Aria of Sorrow in my mind, but it's really cool to have it complete in box. So now, just a little bit bonus do have a couple of Japanese GBA titles starting with Golden Sun the first one I have the Japanese version I don't have the English one but I do have that it was a cool thing to have I, I got it on like WhatsApp and then the next thing I have which I thought was cool are these Famicom mini GBA games I have Balloon Fight here which is just complete like you know not gonna open it probably ever but I thought this was a cool collection one thing I got this on WhatsApp which is a really fun app to peruse through if you're into collecting games but I thought this was just a cool little thing i have balloon fight and gba and this nice little packaging and everything from japan it's awesome so there's some games that i don't own that i have played specifically uh, the other castlevania gba games and metroid fusion i also think those games are really good i just don't own them physically yet overall i think the i think the gba is a good handheld console i think with the sp that really made me want to actually start getting physical games for it and actually play it physically was with the backlit screen i have played games on the original gba and beat it like metroid fusion i beat on an original gba but the backlit screen is like where it's at and the sp is at least before like the ds and the 2ds 3ds and all that stuff the sp was just phenomenal because you could play the gba games and you could play game boy games you know backwards compatibility was awesome and a great thing to have where it was a bonus now nobody really gives a fuck about that anymore but gba solid handheld so what games did you guys play on the gba what gba colors do you have feel free to share them in the comments and thank you for watching